Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well, I hope you're having a lovely day whenever and wherever you are watching this video. I thought today we would basically get our shit together because I got back from Amsterdam last night and everywhere is a mess. I feel like a mess, my room's a mess, my to-do list is so big even though like before I went away I was like oh my god I'm gonna get all these jobs done like it, I just didn't do them. I've got so much to do and I just feel so unorganised and I feel like I've got a million parcels, I've got so much washing, I've got a case to unpack, then I've got to repack it with all my summer clothes to put back in the attic because I've got no room. I need to get house insurance because it's up today because can you believe we exchanged on our first property a year ago? What? I just feel like I've got so much to do. Like, I want to have a shower, I want to walk my dogs, I want to do a healthy food shop because I have not at the best in Amsterdam and this spot is to show for it. And I just feel like there was there is no one I would rather get my life together with than you guys. So I need to have a shower. Like I feel horrible. I had a bath last night, but it didn't even make me feel fresh. Like I need to have a big shower. I want to get all my tan off. I want to feel fresh and clean. You know when you just feel like doesn't feel good to be like have a million and one things but like, I feel like I've got lots of tabs open and I'm looking at this mess in front of me and it makes me feel sick so I thought step one would be let's make a list together but this also can just be like I'm not even going to aim to get all this done like today I'm thinking like this can be my sash yeah I'm thinking this it doesn't even just have to be like a, a daily vlog like this is literally going to be until all my stuff's done so we let's spend the weekend together, let's be organised, let's clean, let's tidy, let's start journaling again, let's glow up, let's do all of that stuff that we need to do to have a really productive week starting on Monday. So it's currently Friday and yes, I'm just going to write myself a list. Send Vinti parcels, collect post office parcels, I want to walk dogs and tidy room i need to unpack suitcase i need to do house insurance i need to do a healthy food shop first things first it's got to be let's unpack sort into wash like doesn't need wash and then let's start on the room because honestly i'm embarrassed to show you how bad my room is give you a little bit of context of what we're working with i'm going to show you my room please do not judge me i literally got home from the airport yesterday and i just threw my case on the floor i've got a plate up here i've got two cups from our cup of tea this morning and <laughs> this is the current situation all this is summer clothes this is obviously my suitcase that is just absolutely full i've got my udi Everywhere just is a big fat mess, so let's get on with it. which didn't actually take me as long i don't know why i procrastinate things like that i collected all my parcels all my vintage stuff was gone i've packaged up a boohoo parcel that i need to take tomorrow just those jeans that i had in the hall you know like the ones that didn't really i didn't really like them and then i even got my mom to try them on and they were too small for her so they are going back i've done my skincare i showed you the products but i've been really loving this Revita Lift collection by L'Oreal and also this is off TikTok it's Nature Spell the Eyes Have It serum and I just use both of these 
and yeah my skin has been feeling really good i've just had a really hot shower which felt so nice and i got some parcels so i thought we could unbox them this one is from kaya the label i've never had anything off kaya the label but me have had a few things and they just said they kindly like gift me some things so i said i would love to try it so first things i got were i've been like needing this sort of color legging and i've heard really good things about the kaya roots leggings i saw when like shannon did a collection with or like an edit with kaya the leggings were meant to be incredible so i got this like khaki green olive color and you know that i'm so obsessed with this sort of green color i just thought they'll go with everything like great like if this didn't have blue on how cute or like with the zara jacket so i picked these up in a size small and i just thought my wardrobe was missing this sort of like washed green leggings so like i wear them a lot and then i also got i'm excited for this i got this oversized black half zip because half zips are just becoming my personality trait i just love them so much so i got this one in a size 10 i didn't know how big or oversized they'd come but i really like the packaging it says like be your own muse it looks quite like cool for a brand so yeah got this in a size 10 it's just an oversized black half zip it's got pockets i just thought this would be cool even with the leggings but i just live in these i love them they're like becoming my favorite over a sweatshirt and hoodie because it's like the best of both worlds it's like a sweatshirt but you've still got the of it so love that also i think this is from tiktok shop i can always tell when it's a tiktok shop thing because it they put my Jodie May Zero. They don't put Jodie May. I don't have any of these up here, I don't think. My nail tech is watching this. Don't hate me. Just using my thumb to open. Okay, I'm really excited for this. This is the Grow Gorgeous Strengthening Hair and Scalp Mask. So I've been using... One sec. I'm going to shuffle back. I have been using this, which is from the same brand, the Intense Health, um, the Intense Hair Growth Serum Intense. Serum Intense. Does that make sense? Intense. Whatever. For fine thinning hair. I've been using this for, I mean, not ages, it's literally here, but I've been using it for like maybe two weeks and it's good. It smells really strong. <laughs> And then this is their mask. So intrigued to try this. I will use it with this week's hair wash. I think I'm going to wash my hair on Sunday. Oh. Smells like... As if you guys can smell through the camera. I'd love that though. And then my plans for the rest of the evening are going to be to edit the podcast and edit a little bit no edit the i don't know which one i'd like rather do i think i might edit a bit of the vlog edit a bit of the podcast and do it that way so yes i feel so much better even just a shower i feel like having a shower is such an underrated like self-care just a simple shower like i just had it really hot and literally used two products like my two favorite shower gels and i just had a quick shave like nothing crazy nothing like no crazy products and i just coming out the shower and like putting a fresh tracksuit on even if it's like pajamas whatever it is there's just no feeling like it so if you're feeling a little bit like oh i hate my life that's how i feel sometimes like if my room's a mess like sometimes it just takes a shower like just to be de-stressed to get out the shower and think oh, i feel so much better so my hair is so greasy but i'm going to check in with you guys in the morning now i'm just going to have a bit of a chilled evening with all friday night chill and yes i will chat to you in the morning <laughs> good night kind of crazy oh, oh. i something kind of crazy oh, oh. call me baby oh, oh. i you to call me baby i'm looking but if you want to wake up let me tell you bruh what you didn't just smell me the perfume yeah you know what it is? It's the one your dad got me for Christmas. It's the back of my bed. No, it's not. It's called. Let me have my headphones on. It is called. 
Don't worry, you don't have to be in it. It's called Because of You by um, Armani. It's really nice, isn't it? So guys, we're going to the gym. We're gonna try and back together and also do some cardio, whether you like it or not. No, 10 not minutes. It. No, 10 minutes, joking. We're no, gonna do some cardio that. and we're gonna try and back and boys. And then we are gonna have our lunch. So this is me getting back active. We went on a big dog walk yesterday, which was nice. And we're continuing. I feel like you just have to go back to the gym. You can't procrastinate about it. Like I procrastinated yesterday and it hasn't done me any favors. So we are here. I'm going to Ollie's gym. And I didn't realize how cold it was. So I did swap my top to a um, like zip up. Do you think it'll be busy or not? I do. Do you? Well, I don't reckon it'll be like raving like, but I reckon it'll be busy. Too busy to vlog. Depends on which bottle you've got when it does. Okay, well, I'll bring you along on the workout. My gym outfit, if you want to know, what is going on with this horn? My gym outfit, if you want to know, is this is PLT. The zip up that I did put on was bow and tea, but it's just too cold for oh. it. Then I've got Sheen leggings, Primark top, Converse, and Boohoo little pink socks, which are so cute. Look. Look how cute they are, they say. Well being, well being, well being, but it's sort of come off now. And I've also got some booty parcels to take later. See you in the gym. Update, we did cardio. <laughs> evening guys I have just got out of the bath i'm feeling extremely pale but that just is a good thing because that means it's a day closer to being freshly tanned and freshly well this means you one step closer to having fresh hair i have just put in my hair i'm gonna add some to the back because i haven't really reached it down there so i've put in this is what i've been using for a while now right it's gotta be like a few months <laughs> I feel like so this is pumpkin seed oil this is rosemary oil and then i also have been using this grow gorgeous oil and i'm just gonna add some to the back of my hair too and then this is just i got everything off amazon other than the grow gorgeous stuff which is on tiktok shop so if you click click onto my tiktok it will be in the like showcase shopping cart thing if you want to buy it but i'll keep you updated on what i actually think of the product i am catching up on me as weekly vlog then the rest of my evening is going to be editing well getting my video finished for tomorrow i'm going to sit and edit the podcast and just get prepared to my thumbnail upload my video it is 20 to 8 so the night is really young. What are like? What is your favourite thing or your go-to way to spend a Saturday? Because mine is definitely like gym, walk the dogs, watch my brother play football, self-care. Like, I feel like my going out era is just well and truly over. So I just massage all this through, and then I'm gonna go in with the this. So let me carry on this massaging process, and I will be back okay we are pretty much massaged in this is the mask always intrigued it has such a smell always intrigued whether it's going to be like 
thick or thin like the summer the garnier one i think is pretty thin but then like the coco and eve one is pretty thick and i'm just going to put this through the ends to like the mid to the ends and i if i didn't have oil in i would focus it also more on the tops of my hair but it doesn't really need to be this is definitely a thick, like, if you've used the Hair Foods one, which I really love, the Garnier one, it's very, like, thin, and you don't, well, not really thin, but, like, you don't really need a lot, it's more of, like, a conditioner consistency, this is, like, full on, this doesn't really spread very well, so you probably need a lot, especially if you've got a lot of hair, or, like, really thick hair. Honestly, nothing better than hair care. I'm just going to pull it all into a pony. I don't know what to watch on TV tonight. I feel like I've got a bit of YouTube to watch. I also was really loving the Aquarius Creative Unfiltered on BBC. So I just found it quite interesting. So I think I watched like half of it and then I haven't watched the rest of it. So I've also got that to watch. Something like while well, Lolly's out, you know. Uh, I also really liked Young Sheldon and I really got into it on because it was on Comedy Central in Amsterdam. That was like the only TV show that was on in English. And I actually really liked Young Sheldon because I have never watched it, so I didn't really know if I would like like it, but I really did so. Tempted to watch that. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favourite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my Good morning guys, exciting but nervous day for us today It's my youngest brother's first ever boxing match Like what the fuck, he's literally 15 and it's his first boxing match and we're all going to watch him he really like i weren't sure if he would want us all to go to be honest like the pressure but he actually wants the pressure i think to be like all well, my family's here like i need to show up you know so we are going to like going off to watch him this is my eighth here i've just got on a sheen like skims dupe this really cute bubble cardigan from boohoo so um, these are miss pap jeans but i got them off debenhams then i've got my ultra mini uggs on my Louis bag my sunglasses and then my perfume was of course backpack rouge one two three all that i need is your body next to me on rainy day good evening guys i thought i would show you my like sunday evening ritual in terms of manifesting and journaling i've just had one last bath i thought i'd test my luck to see if i get one last bath out of the week so that was so good and now i'm just sitting and i'm just gonna sit down with my journal at, well my planner and my journal these are the two that i use this one is her empire's lifestyle i'm sure if you guys watch the weekly vlogs you'll have seen but this is the goal getter club and it's like a weekly planner and to be honest i haven't actually sat down and like done the introduction yet but it gives you like yearly goals and like monthly overviews that you can fill out and a bit of like a few exercises before you actually get into the weekly planners which i feel like will be a goal to sit and sort of do this week but then you basically fill out the weekly planner like this and obviously i didn't do it this week so i was just in amsterdam but that is like how I plan my week and my days and like reflect. And then this is my more of a manifestation planner. And this is just one that I got from 
home bargains i think and i literally got this at the start of last year and this is just a place i go to manifest and to like write down positive affirmations and somewhere i go to be a little bit more like this is very much like that this one is very much about planning and like organizing my life and making sure i'm in a routine and this is more about like chasing like my dream sort of thing and manifesting and having like separate places to do that i find really helpful so i thought i would just talk to you a little bit about how i firstly manifest so i really love to put a frequency on in the background i literally just go on youtube and you can get like specific manifestations and it honestly it just depends on what i'm like trying to manifest specifically but if you literally type in like manifestation frequency and you can put success money literally anything like this one obviously you can tell i like i've listened to like three hours of that top one and i just put it on in the background you can there's some that it's like even like so specific when it's like frequency for youtube success for example like it can be anything sorry you just ran out of storage so yeah so many you can get really specific ones for like success at school for good grades for manifesting um wealth for manifesting like a job manifesting good grades i think i might have said that anything like you can get really specific ones if you want and i will just put my, one of those in the background and what i really this is like my routine that i typically do i write three things that i'm grateful for and these can be like small huge whatever then i write three things that i am manifesting and i try to make these really um what's the word like really specific things that i'm really trying to manifest and then i really love to do three short-term goals so this like for me a lot of the time is like for example this is just a random one and i put like hit 5k youtube subscribers 10k tiktok followers and get a new mortgage in principle because our other one had expired and i got it all and then like my long-term goals were 100k youtube subscribers making mm, youtube adsense a month and living in our own home and then i always love to either finish off with a specific affirmation so this day it was i'm ready to allow miracles into my life or sometimes i will do i'm trying to see if i've got an example somewhere one second what i've been really loving and i don't even know what made me do this i don't know if i saw a tiktok and someone recommended it but i write me or i write jody i would recommend writing your name i think over me but write jody and i do like a circle or a heart and then i write things around it that i'm trying to attract so it can be things that i like have such as like a stable family or love like a happy relationship and then also mix it up with like um business opportunities or wealth passive income growth like things that i'm trying to attract i find really helpful and yeah that's what i have been doing recently in terms of manifesting so i'll get into that but then also with my journal i really like it because you can weekly reflect so even though i didn't do it for last week i'll still reflect on this week and then i can write my top priorities and i love to do this on a sunday so that when i wake up on a monday i've got like a plan and a vision of what my week's going to look like and i just love having this like a fresh outlook of the week and i can literally just write things like plan i set an affirmation for myself i i set three intentions and then like you can tick off like your self-care tick off your fitness if you've been active you can do your water i don't really do that one but i just love having the overview like i plan my youtube videos if i've got any appointments like anything and it just gives me a really like nice place to go back and look at and i still do the notes on my phone because i just find obviously they're out and about with me i can be a little bit more i can do like put on my phone notes more like mundane sort of um tasks like I always just do like gym walk the dogs and having those little like having that process of being able to tick off the little habits really helps me like day to day so I still do both but today I am going to listen to I think I'm just going to listen to this random one it's overnight followers frequency <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, manifesting is done. That literally, like, you don't have to spend a lot of time on it. I just spend however much time I feel like necessary. And I also feel like some days I'm much more into it than others. And if you're not into it, like, it doesn't matter. Like, don't force yourself into it because you bring the wrong energy. But this literally took me like 10 minutes. It's one page of paper. And it's just nice to like focus on the frequency. Like focus on like what you want your life to look like. So I'm going to share with you what I wrote. So I'm grateful for my family, my social media growth and waking up healthy. I'm manifesting 6,000 YouTube subscribers, my own home to buy. And then I put one of my videos going viral on TikTok. My short term goals, 6k subscribers, 15k TikTok followers. I forgot to write the word followers. And yeah, I'm going to leave it with you guys here. I'm going to go and have a little snack and then I'm going to sit and spend a little bit more time like planning my week as such. But I will pick you guys back up in the morning because I need to do a food shop and I want it to be a really healthy food shop. It's going to be a pretty much a full week. I'm going to London on Tuesday, but it's going to be like a pretty much a full week of meals that I need to buy. So I will take you along to that and you can like see how I plan my meals and what I buy and like try to stay healthy. But there's nothing I hate more than like un, like not just even unseasoned, but just like I don't like to eat like plain food. So yes, I will show you what I get, and maybe you can get some like meal inspo. But from me, I am kind of checking with you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. I am ready for the day. Have had a very productive start to Monday, which feels great. So the podcast went live. I got up about quarter to six, the alarm went off, and I got up, I tidied the room, like I tidied up, had a coffee, went to the gym, and when I got to the gym, I was like, I normally get there for like 35, 40, it was more like 45, 50, and I like could see loads of people coming out the gym, like not a load, like a couple, and I thought, that's weird, like, have I not been told that the gym's opening early now? I thought, great news you know is it opening at half five six whatever these people finished so i get in the car lock it grab my headphones i'm walking in you know i've got sisters and souls on i've got sisters and souls on so i'm walking you know hey guys welcome to sisters and souls i'm mia i'm jody i'm really in it and then this man's like i say hello you okay and he's like yeah like the fire alarms are like broke not working unsure he's like so they've like chucked us all out and i was like no way and like to start with I thought what a bad start to the Monday like what a bad start like I'd hot, like psyched myself up for this gym workout I'd got there I couldn't go in and like I thought oh my god like what the hell like what a bad start to the week and then I got back in my car and I thought right what do I do do I go home and I thought can I go to another gym and at Ollie's gym which I brought you guys to the other day you can like just get a day pass which is what I do so I pay five pound which I do think is expensive that's why I don't do it all the time but you pay five pound and you can just go in for like the day so I decided to do that and I thought uh, you know let's start the week off with a workout so I went it was quiet and I've never gone on my own before and I was a bit nervous but it was quiet I was fine I did a leg workout smashed it like loved it whatever and then as I've reflected I was thinking that was not a bad start for me like I was a little bit slow this morning like everything I was doing I wasn't like I didn't wake up and jump out of bed and put my gym clothes on and put my trainers on and run out the door I had a coffee in bed like I posted on sisters and souls like I, I did all that stuff so that when I got to the gym like it was already short because I just imagine if I was halfway through my workout and then they were like you've got to leave there's no way I would go to the gym so I wouldn't have done a full workout and just on reflection I just feel like what I like it, my day completely worked out for me like I got to do a full gym session I wasn't interrupted I worked out like I even got to use like better machines because Ollie's gym is much more like a professional and it was perfect for a glute day which is what I wanted to train like I got to use the hack squat machine and like everything so actually in reflection everything worked out completely in my favour like if I'd have got there literally five ten minutes even earlier I would have well if I'd have got there for half six which is the goal I would have been like 15, 20 minutes into my workout and then they would have been like, you've got to go. And I would have just come home and not done anything else. So 
everything works out for me everything works out in my favor even if at the time and i literally i love this affirmation i'm gonna find it and read it properly it's basically even if at any given point things don't feel or look like they're working out for me ultimately they are that I'd, i wish i could put that into better words but that essentially is what i'm trying to say like even if at a given point you think oh my god like there's an obstacle like there's a roadblock whatever even if it's like you get to the traffic lights and they turn red and you think oh my god i'm late you don't know why you're late and i don't know why i feel so motivational this morning but yes we are like whatever is meant to happen for us will happen and now i'm gonna go make my favorite breakfast smoothie and i'm gonna make it with you guys i've just threw on a comfy tracksuit and the rest of the day i obviously walked the dogs with me as well so i worked out walked the dogs with me which was so nice because i literally haven't seen her since not friday the friday before like 10 days i think so mad so we've caught up and then the rest of the day we're going to plan the rest of sisters and souls season one so we know exactly where we are we're going to london tomorrow yes yeah, so let's go and make my favorite famous healthy nutritionist you eat breakfast smoothie i'm on my way down memory lane road tripping i took a break to numb the pain mm -hmm. smoothie Cheers to health, wealth, happiness, love, everything, abundance coming into your life. Do you want a wee, darling? Also, I have been taking my cod liver oil, which is upstairs, and I've kept it in my room and I've been taking it out the cap, which is probably not a good idea. So let me go and get that. Apologies if you can hear Sasha going absolutely wild outside, but this is what she does. She just loves to bark, like, and as she's got older, she has done it more and more and more, and she's not in pain or anything. She just does. So, vitamins I've been taking. I have, I have taken cod liver oil pretty much... Oh, that wasn't very good. Pretty... Pretty much my whole life, my dad always made us take it, and he always made us take it in the oil form, so it just doesn't gross me out. I'm just sort of used to it. This has got like chia seeds, fruit, and everything in, and I feel like this is a nice way to start my day, so we love that. Hello guys, we are at Aldi. Is there anything better? I've got such a runny nose. Is there anything better? It's on vile day by the way. It's turned into an absolutely horrible weather day. Like it is literally like me and me swear we heard thunder. We have just like caught up really like because we obviously we haven't seen each other for like over a week so we just got a coffee we caught up we planned some things to do with the podcast we're going to london tomorrow so we planned that and um, we just caught up really which was so nice but honestly the weather is absolutely horrible like look at the state it's gray it's rainy it is not a vibe and i've got freshly washed hair so that's great <laughs> but we are at aldi to do the food shop so what i always 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 do is i either well i always do a list and i either do it on my phone or i do it on paper and i literally plan like all the meals that i want so this week we're having lamb rice pasta burgers so i love to plan my meals out i write exactly what ingredients i want and then i just know what i need to get so i always write it on my phone and that's what I'm going to do now. And then I need to get some frozen fruit for my smoothies because that's what I've been having for breakfast. Some stuff for Ollie's lunchbox. And that's it really. Like we don't really, like we get a few bags of crisps and fruit. Like I don't really snack as such. So I will bring you guys to Aldi and then I'll give you a haul of everything that I got. I'm on my way down memory lane. 
Hello guys, I'm going to give you a quick food shot haul and then I'm going to start cooking dinner. So, I try to do it in meals other than random bits like, Sasha! No, no. Like sweet corn. So I really love having sweet corn on my wrap pizzas which I have for lunch. But I already have wraps left over from like a few weeks ago because they last for so long. So, I already got those. Then I got lamb mints. Oh no, so that was bean mints. This is lamb mints. Right, Sasha, come on, Jodie's come trying on. to vlog. Then I got chicken thighs for pasta and also for gyros. I got some brioche buns. I got some halloumi for my gyros and Ollie will have the chicken. Then I got some chopped tomatoes for my pasta. So I always make my pasta sauce from scratch. <laughs> That ended up in your water. Sashi, down from one else. And then for my smoothies, I got this flavour. I switched it up from Sash from the strawberry and berry medley. I got the black forest fruit one to try it. But these are so good if you want like a breakfast. Right. This is cool. No. Now I've got meat. Stop it. Right. I can't move on Shush. to the next stage of my evening. Until now this be is quiet, done. Thank please. you. Please. Thank you. So I got this because I really love my smoothies like you saw earlier and those are literally like £1.30 or something crazy for that. And I got peppers, cucumber for tatsiki. Um, I've got yoghurt already in the fridge and that will make my like tatsiki sauce for the girosses. Broccoli, mint for also to mix with the yoghurt for this lamb rice that I'm going to make. So I can be the least and hello fresh meal that we had and Ollie loves. Asparagus. Then I got some pasta because I needed some. This is just whole wheat fizzly <laughs> to mix it up for once. I got gyros wraps. I got tomato puree. I got cheese, grated cheddar. I always get grated because it's just easier than having to grate it. Then I got some rice. I got some squeezy honey for again my green tea and my smoothies and if you really like knickknacks and you shop at aldi try these have you seen these have you ever had knickknacks yeah well ollie loves ollie this loves them, yeah he really likes this flavor so um we saw them the other day and he tried them and he did actually say that they tasted similar to knickknacks so if you're looking for a little cheap at crisp in Aldi and also they do then um, skip Sasha May. She's like hurry up and give me grandma's beef. I know That's what she wants. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, and yeah also Aldi do the best dupes. They do really good skip dupes don't they? Have you been enjoying those? I haven't the had any. I've had you haven't had any? Really nice. Oh I was going to say. Oh, I think Dr. they're really, Pepper. yeah I was just about to say and the Dr Pepper cottage. My mum got me this. This it? Yeah, it's called Professor Peppy and it's a zero sugar, zero calorie Dr. Pepper, but obviously from Aldi. And it tastes so it's a little bit like dandelion and burdock, isn't it? We said, but like if you love Dr. Pepper like me and like you're in a deficit or you just don't want to waste the like you don't want to be drinking sugary drinks, then this is something to try because I really like having it with my tea. But you're gonna die and you've got no storage and the dogs are going crazy. <laughs> So I will, this might, oh no, actually I'm going to um, draw the giveaway winner and then yeah, I'll speak to you in a little bit. Good evening from me and my little noisy munchkin. I've just edited this video back and realised how much of the video consisted of having Sasha in the background crying and I can promise you she's not crying because of anything other than she's an attention seeker, isn't it? Back me up. She does get hit when she's normal. Don't say that. I would never. I Honestly, the dogs can come up to me and steal my lunch off my plate. And I don't do anything because I just feel so much love for them. The fact you're defending yourself. I'm not. Makes you look guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, angels, we are going to end this vlog here because I really want to start a brand new weekly vlog starting tomorrow, which you will see on sunday and i'm going to um, london in the morning and i'm having a really fun rest of the week so i want to start a new weekly vlog however 
I did a giveaway in my last weekly vlog and I want to pick the winner in this video so I can get it to you ASAP. Okay, tell me when to stop. I am scrolling. Stop. Okay, this is Sophie Wren and your in Instagram is at Sophie Wren one and I'm going to read her affirmation because if you didn't watch, basically, I asked if you wanted to enter the giveaway to leave a really positive affirmation or something you love about yourself to enter and this is what she wrote. I'm so proud of being comfortable in my own skin. For example, rocking the no makeup days and hitting the gym to maintain a healthy lifestyle both physically and mentally which I love. So I'm so happy that you have won. I'm going to DM you and send it out so that is the end of this like get back on track get back to like my routine after being in amsterdam getting organized basically getting my life together so i hope you guys did really enjoy this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i would love it if you joined and i will see you on thursday with a brand new video have a beautiful week guys good night